I'm back down to 180.4. So the lowest I've been was 180.6. So the eggs, all the eggs that I ate on Friday gave me a 0.2 lead on getting down below 180, folks. So I'm really excited. Today's Saturday morning. And so hopefully by Monday, by Monday, I should be down in the 170s, so keep your fingers crossed for me, everybody. Well, we just got back from picking our dog up from the groomer, and I ran next door to do a little grocery haul just for some staples. They had a great buy. This is a New York Steak Bone-In, regular 52. It was on sale for $11.03 for this whole package with the membership card, so that was awesome. They're beautiful, they're fatty, they look delicious. I got four cans of Bang, and I got a large Daisy Sour Cream, got a large Heavy Whipping Cream, got some Jones uh, Little Pork Sausages. These ones are my those. best, but I saw these Jones, and these are ready, um, already cooked, so I thought I could take those to work with me. And just heat them up with okay. some eggs for breakfast. So I thought that was a great idea. They were on sale. And then I got a two-pack of Philadelphia cream cheese. Because who doesn't need cream cheese in their life, right? And um, I'm going to use that for my chaffles. I'm going to use that for in my eggs. I'm going to do a lot of stuff. And I get the Philadelphia because it's got the best carbs. It's um, less than one gram per one ounce serving. So I get the Philadelphia brand whenever I can. I got um, this no antibiotics ever turkey raised with no added hormone and it is basically fully cooked turkey sausage and um, fully cooked pork sausage if you get the pork. So it's basically fully cooked pork sausage. And these do have if you get three links, there's one carb. If you have one, it's zero carbs. So it's it's minimal for three links. And I like the fact that it's 80 calories for three links. So that's good too. The Jones that I get, this little pork sausages are great. They're made with pork, water, salt, spices, and a natural lamb casing. So I'm highly allergic to MSG, so this is very important for me to see on there. And then we get baconette. I get the hot and spicy for my husband. And they do have like a one less than one carb per serving. He likes some hot and spicy. So this has less than one carb. And then um, the fried pork rinds are zero. So the plain are zero, and this is the kind I like. And then I forgot to tell you guys on the Daisy sour cream, it's just sour cream. That's all it is. Pure sour cream, one gram of carbohydrate for every two tablespoons for any newbies with sour cream. And Daisy's is the purest. It just is pure unless you go um, organic. And then I get for every one tablespoon of the shamrock. And shamrock is a local um, dairy here and they they distribute they do everything here they package and distribute so that's nice because we know it's fresher because it's in state literally and that's what I like about it anyway folks I just wanted to share my little mini grocery haul with everybody and um, 
I've got dog hair all over me for my dog and I don't have any makeup on, but just wanted to share with you, Betty, my little grocery haul. How come everything comes when I have no makeup on? Anyway, folks, I just got my Vitacost order, which I do online. It's free. I'm not an affiliate or anything, but I just wanted to share with you that they have sales all the time. And I got my magnesium glycinate. And this magnesium, there's like seven different types of magnesium or more. I'm not quite sure. But glycinate is the one that helps you relax at night. So this is the one we take before we go to bed. And this was 120 veggie caps. And this was on sale for $10 for 120 vegetables. Wow. So yeah. And what I like about it was it just has vegetable cellulose capsule, magnesium, sterate, steric acid, cellulose, and silica. So there's no dextrose or anything else in it. So cellulose is plant-based fiber that holds, that's probably the capsule in it. I also got some superior krill oil. My husband doesn't eat fish very often. He likes shrimp and an occasional scallop, but it's not something we have, so it's important to get your omega-3s. So this was $18.50, and there's 60 soft gels. And... The ingredients are gelatin, vegetable, glycerin, water, natural lemon flavor, monio, and diglycerides, rosemary extract, and it's got the topoporols. And so the good news is, is there's nothing funky in there either, I don't think, anyway. So we got those. I also get my Better Stevia English toffee that you guys see me use. And I got the dark chocolate this time because let me tell you, this stuff is really this. If you like mocha coffee, this tastes really good. Put a couple drops of English toffee, put a couple drops of that chocolate with heavy whipping cream at night in your collagen. Oh, yeah. It's delicious. Yeah, it is. It's really good. And um, I got some zero-calorie pancake syrup. Yes, Walden Farms is not the best in the West because it does have sucralose. Sucralose does not kick Harry or I. And this actually tastes the most like syrup. But, you know, if sucralose is not your thing, if you're allergic to it or you can't use it, then this would not be for you. Yeah, if you're so, new, you got to find out which one works. Right. There's a doesn't. lot of them. And I really, really, really like Chalk Zero products the best, but I'm totally out. And they're a lot more expensive. So right now I'm on a budget. So um, because I just got back to work from being on disability for my surgery. So the Walden Farms were $3 each. And so I got two of those. Then I ordered a Bi BioTrust. I'll do it. Okay, you do it, Harry. Harry Cameraman needs something. So yeah. he's doing it. It's good stuff, too. It is. It tastes yeah, it really is good. That tastes the most like like Mrs. Butterworth or regular pancake syrup. Yeah. It's got the same consistency and stuff. And we put that on our chocolates, um, and it's really good. We like it. Yeah. I like I said I like Choc Zero products. They're better ingredients, but this doesn't kick Harry or I. So now I ordered from BioTrust and I ordered my collagen. I get collagen from BioTrust and from Perfect Keto. Um, BioTrust is unflavored and it's got five different collagens in it. So it's got a, and they had a sale. You buy one for regular price and you get the second one for um, $19. So it's got five different collagen types, which is more than what um, Perfect Keto collagen has in it. So I really like that. Um, they get third-party independent uh, testing. And this is tasteless and odorless, and it just makes a nice... So this has got bovine collagen peptides, fish collagen peptides, eggshell membrane, and native unnatured chicken collagen. So I use this. Once a day, and then I use my Perfect Keto Collagen Vanilla the other 
in my nighttime. I take collagen twice a day. I'm trying to heal from my surgery, my nails and my hair. I started having issues with my hair thinning. My hair is coming back. I've got little fluffies everywhere. My hair yeah, you can see there. you can see them right there. My, take your hand away. You can see them right there. My hairdresser said, wow, you've got a, a bunch of baby hairs coming in. So that made me feel good. So I take that twice a day. Um, I also ordered from them Omega Krill Time 5. And this also has the EPA and DHA, if you can see those. It's something that they had that was new. I've never tried this before. But it's... Uh, it's sweetened with sorbitol, which is really nice. And it doesn't have any icky ingredients in it. So it's really fresh and clean. And it's also, again, third-party tested. And it sounded like a really good product for us. So I got this before. I think I ordered my Vitacost order. And then they had this. And on checkout, it's like, if you buy this, you can also get add this to your cart at this price. And you can add this at your that price so I got one of these to see which one we needed so I wanted to share that with you because I order the BioTrust online and I order from Vitacost go to Vitacost and check it out you guys they have a lot of great wholesome more natural products they carry the primal brands they carry the chosen foods they carry all kinds of things and it's a healthy it's kind of like a thrive market and you don't have to be a member. That's the nice thing. You don't have to pay a monthly fee. And if you order $50 or more, it's free sh shipping. And we get ours within one to two days. I ordered this on Friday. I got it today. Today's Saturday. So that's really great, too. And if you go there, look at the top. And they've got different coupons and different sales. Put your email in. You'll get coupons and sales throughout the week. So we really like them. I've had a few things come that were soft packaged that were poked and they don't even ask you to ship them back or anything. You call them up and they send it to you free, free shipping. They just no questions asked. So we really enjoy um, our relationship that we have as far as buying and getting things shipped. So anyway, folks, there you have it. Just wanted to share that with you today. So here we're frying up some eggs. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eggs in there because I'm having just eggs and I'm going to eat four of these and Harry's going to have three. What you doing, babe? Get myself some six ounces of this beef here. Yep. And we are still waiting to get our carpet installed and that's a big fat mess. We'll have to explain that later because... Oh, everything is every which way, packed up, put away, all that good stuff. You doing how many ounces, babe? Six. Six ounces? Six. Six ounces. No, that's fine. You can have six ounces and some eggs. So he's going to make well, his hamburger. Sally just lucked out, yep. and that should be about right. So that's what we're eating, folks. He's having hamburger and eggs, and I'm having eggs. So, right, Harry? You're right. Right, my fave. Hamburger and eggs? Yeah, hamburger and eggs. Yeah, Are you fave? Because I like to put a little mayonnaise on there, too. Okay. But i got to heat it first. Don't you think you should heat it first and then put the mayonnaise on Yes, I do. I don't, because then I think the mayonnaise doesn't separate in the microwave or anything, you know? So, put the lid on. How are the eggs looking? Turn off the uh, turn off the oven, and just so let them sit. Show them what you're talking about, so people will know. Oh, if you look at the yolks. Yep, yeah, I gotta give Sally her yolk real quick. Can you yolk. hold this? Can you hold this? Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna give her some of that. Ooh, look at that! Sally loves that. Cover it. She loves her egg yolk. This is a keto dog. Mm-hmm. That girl. Well, I just got through putting mayo on my... Uh, and hamburger. butt rub. But, yeah, butt rub and salt, salt and pepper. And now I want to put some of this here Cholula on it. 
I'm going to come over and take a look. My eggs are ready to eat. I've got my dulce mm. on here. And I've got salt and some pepper and four eggs. And look at Harry's. He's got... So remember, folks, we always put the dulce, which is the dark... Um, speckles on here this that's, brown that's that stuff the brown right stuff it's absolutely delicious doesn't taste like seaweed or anything and we use the chosen food avocado manis and we are ready to eat mm. wait a minute is that good yeah what do we got so I am meal prepping for tomorrow. I have three hard-boiled eggs in here, a tablespoon of Kerrygold butter, and then I've got my Dulce um, iodine that I put on this. So I'll heat this for breakfast, and then I've got three eggs, hard-boiled eggs that I did tonight. See how pretty they are? And I am going to get those done real quick here. I'm going to put some mayonnaise some mustard, a little bit of organic parsley, some delicatessen style mustard, and then I'm gonna put some dill pickle juice on it. So let me get that started. It'll be this one right here. And I thought, so what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of parsley in there just a little bit of yellow mustard. I'm going to put a little bit of the boar's head deli mustard, just because it's a little bit stronger mustard. I'm going to put mayonnaise. It's going to be about a tablespoon. Maybe a little. And then I'm going to add a splash of dill pickle juice. Like my that. And the reason why I want to do it tonight is because, seriously, I think deviled egg tastes better the next day. It's kind of like a potato salad thing. you got to have it. Um, and I did my eggs a little soft-boiled, and the reason for that is um, when I cook this one right here in the oven tomorrow, um, I want it a little undercooked so that it doesn't overcook the egg. And I also found out that the reason why it was popping and exploding is because it was cold. So I need to kind of let it warm up so I won't put it in the refrigerator tomorrow when I go to work. You know, when I put it in my lunch bag, I'll just set it on the counter for about half an hour or so till it gets room temperature. And I want to put a little bit of onion salt in this just to give it a little oniony flavor just just a little bit yep. hey mr harry cameraman i'm gonna have you taste test it tell me what you think Ooh, man. yeah good yeah Woo -hoo. anyway folks this is my good. meal prep for tomorrow's egg fast. So if you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell. Give me a thumbs up, folks. See everybody later. Bye.